In the wise words of that sage and saviour, Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. I like Britney. She's a burgers and fries kind of gal. Damn it, I missed out on all those years ago when I met her briefly and I could have asked her to marry me. Oh shit, man, you're just so stupid. But you know who else is actually stupid more than me? Ezra Miller. I get a feeling of deja vu with this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna call him a guy, despite the fact he wants us to call him they and them. Ah, uh -uh, no way, Ezra. You're an absolute effing douchebag, and I'm gonna prove to you, well, at least prove to you with the latest report about you in a few moments. Rewind. Yeah, so about 10 years, 10 years, <laughs> it feels like 10 years. So about 10 hours ago, it has been reported, Flash star Ezra Miller arrested for a second time in Hawaii. What is it about Hawaii? I mean, that's where they filmed Lost, right? And I guess we know what happened to that series after the first season. After throwing a chair at a woman's head, when she asked him, and I'm assuming she, uh, she asked him, to, to leave her alone in a very polite and courteous manner. Uh, Miller 29 was arrested for second degree assault after police responded to reports of uh, a fracas in the Leilani State subdivision of Pahoa shortly after 1 a.m. Authorities said Miller became irate because he's obviously a temperamental douchebag after they, no, after he stopped calling him they, Daily Mail, come on, to leave a gathering at a Pahoa residence and threw a chair striking the 26-year-old female. The unidentified woman was left with a half-inch cut on the forehead. The Hollywood star, no, he's not, he's not a star, he's just a Hollywood has-been, was arrested 20 minutes after the attack during a traffic stop at the intersection Highway 130 and Ker oh my, here we go, Kukula Street in Kianu. Kiau. It looks like Kianu, doesn't it? But it just looks with the uh, N missing. Um, Ezra was released at 4 a.m. pending an investigation, police said in a statement. So from this description here, Right, he was arrested 20 minutes after the... Oh, okay, during a traffic stop. So, when I get into this article, you know why I had a bit of a pause for thought there. So, what happened, and this is really, really strange, the gathering took place at a woman's house, uh, if I have read that correctly, which is the weirdest thing ever. So, if I just go into this... Yeah, so before, like about four weeks ago... Um, or just about three weeks ago, maybe, he was arrested in, in a, a bar in Hawaii because apparently his karaoke sucks, just like he's acting. But funny enough, the couple that pressed charges against him, where they, they then suddenly changed their minds, they relinquished everything, and they settled it out of court. I think Warner Brothers gave them a big load of hush money and just said, look, whatever you saw, Walk away, enjoy your lives, don't say anything else. So I reckon that couple are under NDA now and they can't say anything because it would be interesting, wouldn't it, if that couple kind of went against the NDA clause and spoke out. And it would be interesting to see if Warner Brothers would then sue them for breaching an NDA clause. That would be cool, wouldn't it? But I don't think that would ever happen. Here we are. The Flash star, <laughs> no, no, he's not, he's a flash in the pan, mate, I'm telling you. Grant Gustin, he's the Flash star. Now, even though that series has gone down in quality after season two, to me, Grant Gustin is still the real deal. And the thing with Gustin, you don't hear anything about his private life. I have a few suspicions myself, as I'm sure you do, and that's entirely okay with me. I've got no problem with that, but he's a great Barry Allen. He's a great Flash when he's given the right things to do. Uh, but Miller was arrested for a second time in Hawaii yesterday after the act who identifies as a part of the uh, alphabet community, what a load of bullshit, allegedly threw a chair at a woman's head when she asked them to, asked him, asked him to leave her home. So was he invited or was he a home invader? That's what I want to know. I suspect many people in Hawaii, 
may, may, may not know who Ezra Miller is. Uh, that's probably a fair thing to say at this stage. But look, if I was David Zaslav at Warner Brothers, while well, he's at Discovery, but taking over Warner Brothers, or has done that already, get rid of Miller. Get rid of Amber Turd, because these two people, nobody is going to go and watch their movies. I mean, th does anybody want an Aquaman sequel? No. I liked the first one, but I'll never watch it again because Amber Turd is in it. And while I do like the Snyder Cut of Justice League, it's kind of hard to get past her, but maybe I can forward, fast forward her scenes in future. Now I've said it once and I'll say it again. If you watch the perks of being a wallflower, uh, the best person in that movie is Logan Lerman by a long shot. Emma Watson is just shit. She can't act for Toffee. And Ezra Miller, I think he was playing a future version of himself in that movie. At the time I watched it, I thought, that's a pretty good performance. But no, when you think about it, it's just Ezra being a future version of himself. Kind of ironic when you consider The Flash has the capabilities of turning back time or going into the future, right? So I think that's pretty funny. Yeah, and Justin Bieber. A long time ago, I wanted to punch that guy in the face. But look, he's met Hayley Baldwin. Sexy, successful, socialite. She's a good-looking chick. Give him some babies, Haley, before time runs out, love. Do you know what I'm saying here? So, you know, you can step aside, Justin. You're safe from me. I won't be seeing you in the street and punching you anytime in the face. Instead, just put Ezra Miller in front of me and I'll give him several blows to the face and maybe reform that ugly mug that he's got right now. Justin Bieber. Prepare to face the wrath of the fi- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ezra Miller, prepare to face the fist of fury. <laughs> now, you know, if I were David Zaslav, fire Ezra Miller's ass already. Get rid of him. And obviously, Amber Heard is in that courtroom trial at the moment. By the way, I am Team Johnny for life. Get rid of her. Get rid of Ezra Miller and just restart the universe all over again with DC. It's a complete and utter mess. You never had this problem with Christopher Reeve back in the day, did you? And I will say there was a great comment and saw on Ryan Kittle's channel from a guy called Johnny Perry. Twitter goes after Chris Pratt, but I see no huge movement against Ezra Miller. Am I just not seeing them or is my observation correct? Well, Johnny, in answer to your question, people have gone after Ezra Miller. If you just type his name into Twitter, you will see the following responses here. Uh, why are they not in jail already? Uh, fire this train wreck, refilm with a new flash. Common sense people, I only care about the movie because of Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton. His pronouns are they and them. No, they're not. It's just Ezra Miller. He's just making it up so he can just get away with murder. Very soon, that's probably the next step up in the crazy world of Ezra Miller. Fire! Fire. Du -du -du. I see you burn. Now, I'm telling you people, this world is going crazy. It's not just me saying it. It is other similar content creators out there. Ezra Miller is not the only example. There are plenty more to come. And of course, the whole topic about Chris Pratt, why the lefty loonies on Twitter are just going after him. I knew that the minute that Thor Love and Thunder trailer dropped a couple of days ago, I knew that people would be coming out there. The rage mob against Chris Pratt. Why? Because, oh my God, he goes to a church. By the way, I happen to know which one it is. And if it is the one I think it is, it's not a bad place to go. I be, I went there last year, actually, with a friend of mine, and it wasn't bad. I'm not a religious man, but I thought it was a pretty good setup that this church actually has, and it's in the center of London, so it's not like a usual church, and um, interesting mix of people that go there. That's all I have to say. And yeah, Chris Pratt, he's white, he's straight, he's got a beautiful wife, um, and he doesn't really bother people. He just He's a man who wants to be a man. If he doesn't agree with the ideology of today, don't go out there and cancel him. It's his entitlement to be that way. And I actually agree with what Chris Pratt has to think about, even though he doesn't say it out in public. So good for you, Chris. And I love you, bro. Fist bump, man. Oh, when I saw this video, man, I just thought, well, this report, I'm like, are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. This is like deja vu all over again, isn't it? I do. I have said before, and I, and I, and I know people do comment on this, Things happen in threes. 
okay we had the attack on the pregnant fan in finland uh, during lockdown in 2020 then we had the hawaii incident and then we have this in hawaii again it's deja vu i want receipts people show me receipts tmz Get your photographers out there, your videographers. Film Ezra Miller in action. Get the scoop. Because once we get the scoop and it's online, there ain't nothing much else that can be done except for Warner Brothers to fire this stupid idiot and get him off our films. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this video today, you know the drill already. And by the way, before I say my usual sign off, I want to say this much. YouTube is just doing a very weird thing with my subscribers at the moment. First of all, it's at 1,090, then the next day it's 1,100, and then it drops back to 1,090 again. Something's afoot at the Circle K, Ted. I don't know what's going on here. And you know what, YouTube? I frankly don't care because you know what? This is a good hobby of mine. It gives me mental stability. You know, removing the dislikes button. You said it was good for little creators like me. So maybe just don't muck around with the algorithm. Maybe push my video out there a bit more so people might be aware of who I am and they might want to subscribe. So folks, if you enjoyed this video today, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you slap that subscribe button like it's Ezra Miller's mugshot. And if I were you, I would check me out on my next video. Why did this like and subscribe or get your nuts Krogan crushed. Didn't work out the way you thought, did it? <laughs>